I have an in-ground pool. Uh, it's got a bad spot where it leaks, where the cement has started to crack. And today we're going to learn how to patch it and stop the leak. This is AB Epoxy. I got it at the local pool supply store. And this is what we're going to use to uh, fix our crack. Uh, more or less what you do is we take an equal part of A and equal part of B, mix them together. So here's my here's my trouble spot. Now this is the third year that I've uh, had to deal with this and um, when it all started um, the my pool guy at the time was telling me that this would fix the problem but it would require maintenance. This is not a permanent fix, it's something that's going to have to be maintained. Um, everything from the bottom up to mostly the top is is pretty good um, the part that's in question is right here where it started cracking and I don't know if you can see it very well but yeah it's the dust is, it's all getting kind of flaky and it's kind of lifting like uh, the water's gotten behind it so I need to kind of uh, scrape this off a little bit and redo just the top part of it luckily I don't have to get in the water now when I did the bottom part of this a while back the way that I did it was I had my brother help me and I would hold my breath as best I could go underneath with the material and and he would stand on my back until I pushed to the point where he knew that I was ready to come up so if you got to do something like this underwater I recommend you use the help of somebody you uh, trust with your life. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just coming off. I remember when I did this last year that I kind of felt like I didn't have the best mix. Um, but it worked regardless. Um, I've done this where I've had it mixed really good and I've done it where I've had it mixed really bad. Um, definitely want to take your time when it comes to mixing the A and B together so that you uh, get a very consistent product. If you do mix it and it's not the best, it will work, but it's probably going to give on you a little sooner than, than it would otherwise. And when I had my brother helping me, uh, stand on my back. He would just put one foot on my back and Help me with the resistance there, so It's not easy if you got to go underwater. It's really not easy if you got to go underwater to do this But short of uh, refinishing the pool This is uh, probably the best solution that can be done and the uh, the material itself I've got it at two different places uh, both times it was somewhere between thirty and forty dollars. Shop around. About forty bucks is probably what you can expect to pay for it. Now this might almost be impossible to see, but one way to check to make sure you got the spot where uh, water's going in. And I've tried doing this with food dye. My best results I've had is just putting dirt on my finger, putting it in the water and just watching where the dust goes anyway I don't think it's coming out on camera but that's a good method it's a good way to check to make sure that you fix the leak okay now this stuff is a year old um, a little bit goes a long ways so basically what I'm gonna do is take my knife here and just cut one I'm just gonna cut one mark at a time on each one mix it up I'll cover my material back up you know and then just keep it in my garage um, it holds pretty well
and just mix it until we get a consistent uh, color here probably got about maybe half an hour of um, of playtime with this all right now that looks pretty consistent okay so I'm just gonna take a little bit of stuff and start filling it in where it need where it needs to be I've tried my best to do this and uh, make it so it's a super thin line and it looks all pretty and nice and you don't see a big white mark anywhere but I'll tell you it's kind of hard to do it. The bottom line is this is this is function over beauty at this point. Alright we got a good mix this time best to do that with the with the material being warm it's a nice hot day last year I did this I believe it was September October it was kind of more on the colder side I uh, lucky I made it through it this is not a heated pool and it was pretty damn cold all right that's looking pretty good because of the changing of the seasons, the pressure of the water, and the expanding and contracting of the of the cement, the concrete, um, you know, it's that's why you got to keep your eyes on any cracks. Anyway, that looks good. That should get me uh, through another year, I hope, and uh, I'll be checking on it again next year, seeing how everything looks. It's something I always got to keep my eye on. So yeah, once you put this on, um, you know, give it about 24 hours. Uh, you come back the next day or two, and you touch it, it'll be rock hard. Pretty neat stuff. Well, I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.